Do you need an action? What? Yes. Action. Hey guys! Hi guys! Hi, welcome back to all our subscribers and our viewers. Hello, hello. Welcome, thank you for joining us again. They're mm -hmm. so good, aren't they, Sierra? Mm -hmm. Also, for the newbies showing up, how damn time. It took a long time. Did you get lost? You didn't use MapQuest, did you? Use Google Maps? Oh, you're a ways person, um, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It took you mm -hmm. that detour. They think they have that sense of direction. It's like, nah, bitches, you millennials, huh? Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. So for you newbies, don't worry. It's all good. But we're going to introduce ourselves. It's all good, baby, baby. <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh. I just throw a little baby in. Oh, you have to. All right. Okay. Oh, oh. Introduction. Yeah, it's yes. true. Yeah, go down. <clears throat> yeah. I'm Sierra. I'm Stan. And you're watching the, the Hardly, Hardly Famous, Famous Vlog, Vlog Jinx. 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 You actually got it right this time. Today, I believe it is... Dina Wednesdays, is, is that correct? Already? Yes. God bless. Oh. Yes. All right. And on today's subject of uh, subject topic of Dina you know, Wednesdays here. The what same is it? Damn thing. You know what, Sierra? What are we talking about? We're talking about our favorite TV shows. Let's see, my favorite TV shows. My favorite, favorite. Hey, recently, actually, okay, okay. I had a little problem with it because it is the most teenage angst I have ever had to deal with on the show. Did you watch so 13 long. Reasons Why? I did. I did watch 13 Reasons Why. I gave it a try. Yeah, I'm not. I will have to say, well, you know, I didn't finish it yet. I think I made it to like six, seven episodes or something. I heard a lot of people can get through it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say, okay, in my opinion of this show. Did you know that Selena Gomez produced it? No. She's an executive producer. Wow. She brought the book to the creator, who then created the show. Damn. I did not know that one. Yeah. Why did it sound like something that she would do? It didn't sound like it, I'm just like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I just don't want to watch it, because it's just, it just, I'm like... I couldn't get past the trailer. Not that I have any problems with any like rooting teenagers mm -hmm. or this or stuff like that, but it just like it was just one of those things where I'm just like, okay, yeah, I feel like I would get annoyed with this really, really quick way. Right. Like I feel like I would just be like, it's true you would. Like I would stick it out like just to kind of finish it, but then I would just be like really angry. Like I've talked to people who watched it and they're like, no, I could. They, they were like, I either couldn't get through it or it annoyed the fuck out. Mm -hmm. The entire time, and I'm like, I will say, um, the writing's decent, um, how it's made overall, and the overall pacing, as well as the, um, I, I suppose the way that you know the whole show is edited mm -hmm. and storyline. Is least, each episode like very, a reason why she died? Kind of. Okay. Yeah, it is actually. It is. Yeah. They, they, they plotted yeah. that out. They did. But the way that Ed, and, and he's finding these tapes mm -hmm. of her that he's watching each episode. And he's, you know, and he's discovering her story, basically. Um, I will say, though, that the way that it is, it's different. I like how it's paced. I like the writing. I actually like the casting. They actually really did really great with the casting. The two leads are pretty damn good. And, you know, overall, it's good. But, of course, it keeps getting more and more... Um, it's getting less brooding and more of like, like going into soap opera a little bit. Like, like it's getting dramatic. That's how all teenage all the and it's just shows like, are. My big thing is uh, the teenage angst thing's been done, and I think personally it's been overdone to the point where it's like we don't need to do this anymore. But whatever, you know, there's different ideas out there, and I will say they're they are going into, um, they are pushing the envelope. I think and sex and that's um, how they usually push the envelope. Um, well, what's actually what I found out about is she gay? I no. I, I, do I, it too. I, <laughs> there's the some formula. stuff. There's some stuff coming up that I'm like, oh fuck. Okay, well that's gonna happen. Did she so. cut herself? No. Um. Anyway, moving on from um, from that. So that show is just it's not one of my personal favorites, but it's just vacant in my mind right, vibrant in my mind right now. Just because it's. It's there. It's the most first thing I've watched. Favorite ones, honestly, uh, Bob's Burgers. I can watch any single day. Um, uh, past shows, I was actually really wanting to because Jen did it. Our friend Jen started watching um, One Tree Hill again. 
Actually, I don't want to watch it again. I don't know why, but it's on. Wait, again? You watched it? Yeah. When? Like a long time ago. I'm like, I've never... But we've, we've I talked about this. I don't remember this. Yeah, but we've just never talked about I've One Tree I've never Hill. seen... Like, I cannot see you as a One Tree Hill fan. Yeah. Well, I wasn't like a diehard fan. Mm -hmm. I watched I watched when it first came out years ago, and then mm -hmm. I lost track of it. I just... I don't mm -hmm. know. You know me. And then... Because... Um, the, the series has been on Netflix for like, what, a couple of years now? Mm -hmm. Like, the, their, their seasons, and I, I finished like I finished it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Like, when it first came out, I was like, oh, let me finish this shit. And I did. Um, and then, I don't know why, I was always in the corner when you guys were talking about it, and then Jen said she wanted to rewatch it, and I was like, okay, good, good, good. And then Rachel said she was watching it. She's watching it, yeah, because Jen it. got her on it. Mm -hmm. Now she's obsessed with that. Um, of course, I couldn't get past. I think the fifth season, the fifth or sixth season. I just couldn't get past it. I was just mm -hmm. like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you have to I, walk away. I'm. I, I can't. I can't. But you know, good for people who stuck stuck it out. Mm -hmm. What about you? What are some of your favorites? Well, my all-time favorite show is mm -hmm. Gilmore Girls. Anybody who mm -hmm. knows me knows that that is like my all-time favorite show. It influences everything that I do. Um, I think Amy Sherman Palladino is an amazing writer. And yes, I did watch A Year in the Life. What's funny is, is that um, people who who, watch, who are obsessed with the show and then watch that, it's like, I can watch Gilmore Girls over and over and over again, but I can only watch A Year in the Life once. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I watched it when it came out, the weekend it came out, and then I haven't watched it again. It's just one of those things where I'm just like, I don't know, like, I can't. You know, but I, I'm obsessed with the writing. I'm obsessed with the pop culture and how that's influenced and how like, there's so many references that like, if you don't pay attention, just go over your head. And like, you just sit there and you watch it and you're just like, this is fascinating. And you start kind of like, Paris is my favorite character. Like, just like, Liza Whale, if you're out there, who's on How to Get Away with Murder. That's I was true. like, look at her, look at her. Um, when I'm just like, she originally, fun fact, she auditioned for Rory when, when, the, first, when the show was being first cast. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Amy felt that she wasn't right for the part, but loved her so much that she actually created the part of Paris for her. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, and fun fact about, about Matt, Matt has auditioned for all of uh, Rory's boyfriends. She, he auditioned for Dean. Yeah, I think it was Dean. I know he auditioned for Jess, I believe it was. And then he came back again because Amy liked him so much from him coming back to audition for these guys. And he auditioned for a couple of other people too. But um, that he, that she created Logan for him. Dang. Mm-hmm. Check, mm -hmm. check that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's funny because when you watch it, people don't realize that Melissa McCarthy was on that show. Right. Like she's been doing other things, but that's kind of like her, like her staple as far as like TV shows goes. And also obviously Michael Molly and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. that show she was on, and people don't realize that she was on there. And it's like what? So when A Year in the Life came back, and they're like, is she coming back? Because she was the only cast member that they haven't said that hadn't said yes. Mm -hmm. um, besides Chad Michael Murray. Um, and so at first she said no because she was shooting Mike and Molly at the time and that TV schedule conflicted with just shooting for a year in life. Mm -hmm. But then when Mike and Molly got canceled, her schedule opened up and it was like, yeah, I'm coming back. So I'm not going to tell you if you haven't seen it yet where she comes in, but it's, it's wonderful. And then um, there is somebody who plays Tristan besides Chad Michael Murray, but like he doesn't talk. Like it's just like, it's just the note, the... Paris noticing him from afar, like, oh my God, there is Tristan, and then freaking out about it. Um, and then they asked Chad why did, wasn't he in the revival, and he said that he that um, his wife was um, like ready to pop. Well, he didn't say that, but like that's essentially what it was. Yeah. Like his wife was about to give was ready to give birth, so he was preparing for that. And then he also had some other stuff that he was doing, so he didn't get the chance to go back. So. He, I think he's the only one who didn't reprise his role, which I'm like, that's fine. It's, it's cool. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. It would have been really interesting to see like Tristan de Grey like, right. year, like years later. Just like yeah. really interesting to see it. Cause I'm just like, huh. 
But that's like one of my favorites. Speaking of revivals, oh, 24. Mm, I'm not gonna get into that. Don't, don't. Because don't do it. this, I, I finally saw the season finale. My mother and I are, when 24 first came out with Kiefer Sutherland, because she's a huge Kiefer Sutherland fan. When that show first came out, we watched it. We actually binged watched the first and second season to catch up. And then we watched the third, and we were like, um, we watched it every single week, and I just remember like nights, like school nights coming home, and she's like, you better do your homework or you're not gonna get to watch the episode. And this is like before you were able to like rewind, you know, stuff. So if like the episode started, I'll be in my room and I'm just like, <laughs> and like crying like eternally to finish whatever homework I had to finish before I ran out there, and I'd be like, what happened? Type of thing. Um, but that, that, that's one of my favorite shows to watch with my mom. It's a mother-daughter bonding experience. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Well, okay, so I'll say Pretty Little Liars. It's not my favorite, but it's like, it's one of those shows where I'm just like. You're still gonna go back I made and watch. The, I made the fucking mistake of actually getting into it. <laughs> like, right. And then like, I just, I can't stop. Cause I'm just like, what is the ridiculous? Oh, remind me to show you this interview that Troy and did awesome. about the this last, of the season. Can people stop saying this is the last season? It's season 7B. B meaning the back half of the season. It is not the last season. It is the last 10 episodes of the series. Stop saying it's a fucking season. It's not a fucking season. Sorry, I had to get that out because people have been saying that and I was like, stop. Um, what other shows am I into? What other shows have I talked about? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. You're a huge reality person. Um, I used to be in high to. school. Mm -hmm. High school and college, I used to be like really big in the, mm -hmm. there was like a period in college that I was like Bravo centric. Everything on Bravo I had to watch. Mm -hmm. I watched The Real Housewives, Beverly Hills in, Oak, in Orange County. I watched Million Dollar Listing. I watched the LA one, I watched the New York one. I watched, um, I watch cooking shows and HGTV shows. I still watch those. Um, what else? Hmm. Like, I can't remember. What else do I talk about? I can't remember. There's like, See. it's, you know what's so funny? I feel hmm. like when we have these topics, it's like, oh yeah, I know exactly what to talk about, then I forget. Right. I just know that Gilmore Girls is like my favorite show, but like, and then I, I was Gilmore like, since we were talking too. about revivals. I'm, I'm like, actually a huge Parks and Rec fan from back in the day. Seasons two through Five. Those were my seasons. I love it. I feel like I would have liked that show, but I just, I just never got into it. Mm -hmm. They film, well, they don't film there, but they film the exterior stuff in Pasadena. All the city hall stuff for Parks and Rec, like the exterior stuff, that's all shot in Pasadena at our actual city hall. Um, so, you know, go us. A lot of stuff is shot in Pasadena that people don't realize, and you just drive past and you're like, that looks familiar. Like, the, I told you that my childhood best friend, Taylor, she lived down the street from the Cinderella story house. Yes. Yes, she did. And then the father of the bride house is on El Molino, mm -hmm. um, which is also where they shot Guess Who? Um, with Brainiac and Ashton Carter. Um, and there's, they shot The Grudge here, Grudge 2. Um, there's plenty of other, there's like stuff happening everywhere. Um, but yeah. There's a lot of TV content that I'm just like, I feel like I watch it and then I just forget that I actually liked it or maybe I didn't like it. I'm just like, I don't know why I'm watching it, but. If you liked this video, mm -hmm. what you need to do next is go below the video mm -hmm. and click the subscribe button. It's a button that literally says subscribe. Click that if you like this channel and you wanna see more of us every single week. I mm -hmm. know, it's a big responsibility, but if you're dedicated, you can you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Believe right over here, there is. <laughs> I love that's that. also a song I, too. I know. That's thank you. Put it down. Okay, thank you. Right over here, there's a like button. Push it if you like this video. Right over here, there is a little box. It's a comment section. Yes. That is where you tell us what your favorite TV shows are. If yes. there's something on Wednesdays that you would like us to talk about that we haven't talked about yet, put that down there as well. Or if you just wanna give us a shout out and comment on what we liked and what we talked about in this video, do that in the comment box. Also, slightly above it is a description area which mm -hmm. has all of our social media handles. We are on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And if you wanna see what? Nothing. You kept looking at me. I let me finish the freaking thing. Okay. Okay. 
So if you want to know more about what we're up to, follow us on all those handles. And if you follow us, we may or may not end up in the future putting our personal handles under those handles so you can follow us as well and see what we're up to outside of the show. Yes. That's if you're really, really good and do everything we tell you to do. Exactly. Okay. So remember, subscribe, like, comment, follow us. On everything. Every single thing. And we will see you next week. Shall we do an outro? Sure. Yeah. What do you want to do? I don't know. Why don't you know? Talk to me. Talk to me. What do you want to do? There's so many things we could do. That's we could, usually your job. Um, okay, okay. So I'm thinking we could um, get dressed up and we can reenact Prison Break. Since Oh, no, no, no. It'll be good. It'll be good. I'll get the tattoos. Uh, you shave your head. It'll be really good. I think it'll be really good for the show.